Hello, Grants Pass High School. Principal Thompson here. Uh, glad to have some normalcy with our announcements and shout out to leadership for, for pulling that all together. I hope you're doing well at home. I know you've been home for a while now and we are all adjusting to really what a new normal is. It's very quiet here at the high school. Uh, yet uh, Recently, we've had the Chromebook checkouts and it's been really nice. I got to see some students and uh, that was real refreshing because we don't get to see a lot of each other anymore, at least the way we used to see each other. So number one, thank you for hanging in there and I just uh, encourage you to, to do your very best during these times and I want to just give a shout out also to our teachers who are working very, very hard at a whole new way of learning, uh, online learning, video, um, reformatting what assignments they're going to have and so forth. So just a, a real tribute to everybody uh, that it's pulling together. Let's remember to give each other grace and have patience and uh, just do our very best. That's all we can do. Give yourself that that same uh, grace and patience that, that you need to because it is a lot. You're, some of you might be watching little siblings. I know some of you might still be working outside of the home. Uh, a lot of you are withdrawn and don't get to see your friends and aren't allowed to see your friends because we're trying to stay safe and healthy and I do encourage you to stay away from friends as hard as that is because we don't want the coronavirus to uh, spread throughout Grants Pass, do we? We don't. And so please do your part on that and, and we appreciate that. We will get through this. We will. Uh, a little bit on quarter credit. So we don't usually issue quarter credit or not very often. So what that basically means is during the course of the year, you, t you essentially take seven classes uh, at the end of a semester. If you passed all seven classes worth a half a credit, that is three and a half credits. So what we did is we said, all right, March 13th was your last day of school and we're going to give you award you a quarter credit for those classes that you earned and another quarter credit potentially uh, beginning April 13th until the end of the year for the learning that will take place. Uh, we will be modifying some things though. So for example, the the, during the third quarter, you didn't know the, that you were gonna get a grade after that. We didn't know that either, of course. So we are allowing if students would like to have it as a pass, no pass, as, instead of a F or instead of a C or instead of a B or and you wanna just have a passing grade if, if, if that's the case, you let your teacher know and we'll do that. Um, there is a very limited amount of time period to make those grade adjustments and, and make up assignments and tests. So please be gracious with your teachers as they try and work out that option, especially for kids who were not passing the class. Um, and again, you do have that pass, no pass option if you didn't like the grade you had. Teachers are gonna work with you as very best they can. So again, remember to have patience. Then this, the last quarter, the fourth quarter, uh, you'd have a chance to, <clears throat> excuse me, earn all the credits in classes that you're enrolled in. Um, that may be a pass, no pass for everybody. We're working through that right now. We haven't fully decided, but that, that may be the case because learning will just look a lot different. Um, you're not going to have the same amount of learning that you would have in terms of assignments and tests and projects. You'll have some, but there will be not, not, not as many. It'll be reduced uh, just because of the times we're in and what we're able to accomplish. So most importantly, take care of yourself. Okay, number one, take care of the people that are around you. Have patience, have grace. Uh, get outside as much as you can, as long as it's in a safe manner and you're practicing the social distancing and all those things. Take a walk, um, take some deep breaths, stretch, uh, all those important things. Eat, I, I haven't had a problem doing that lately. I've been doing plenty of that. Um, and we love you, Grants Pass High School. Uh, we look forward to seeing you when we do get to return to normal. In the meantime, we'll continue to do this so we can stay engaged and be a part of each other. We are GP. Hey guys, Mr. Matthews here. Something we're gonna do each week on announcements is we're going to give you a video challenge, so something that you guys can try at home. What we'd like you to do is video yourself trying this uh, and then post it on Instagram. Uh, if you tag GP Leadership, we'll try to pull some of the best videos from each week and post them on next week's announcements. So your challenge for this week is... What's up everyone, it's Mr. Ely. Over the next couple of weeks during these announcements, we're gonna be posting some clips from your teachers, just letting you know what they've been up to uh, since this break started. So for me, 
I've been playing FIFA, as you can see in the background, and I learned how to do this. That's almost heaven, West Virginia, right there. Here are some other things your teachers have been up to. Uh, Coach Y, Mr. Wiry, sent a little update. Hope everybody's good. Uh, what have I been doing? Well, a lot of different things, but one thing I've been doing is uh, organizing uh, my vintage room. A couple things from that room are pretty cool piece here. 1989 World Series Battle of the Bay. Giants Athletics for you baseball fans out there. Softball fans, this is what you'd wear if you were a catcher in softball. Pretty cool. This might explain some things on why athletes were pretty tough. These are pretty neat. Old pair of 19, probably 20s spikes for track. Used to be on uh, kind of a cinder track. Another cool piece, one of my favorite players, old Larry Bird. Uh, this is from 85. Love Larry. One of my favorite players. Uh, 1978 Illinois Valley football helmet. This is the first year when uh, Grants Pass used to just be one high school and then they separated into the four. Uh, this was Ivy's first helmet. Uh, might explain some concussion levels back then. Uh, the inside of that. Uh, what else? Uh, old surfer puzzle. Uh, Laylee Friend, I think would, I could probably give this to Laylee Friend and she'd appreciate that. Um, this is a really neat item. This is from World War II. And this is a shirt that they wore. Uh, this was the 32nd Division, 128th Infantry. And the neat part that I like about this piece is every single person in that division signed this shirt in their own handwriting. So I just think this is a pretty symbolic piece of the sacrifice that went into to what we have here. Um, found this the other day. You Beaver fans out there, this is a uh, authentic 1980s uh, practice jersey. So you know it's real because there's dents in it and dings on the shoulders. So this is what they wore. Uh, some of you football guys, this would have been one of your practice jerseys uh, from Oregon State. Sorry, Oregon fans, I don't have much duck gear. Uh, this is a pair of World War II jump boots. This is what they used to jump out of in, in the World War II. Um, Interesting thing about these is BF Goodrich soles. That's a, a tire company. So these were actually the soles were made from tire companies. So anyway, just a few of my pieces. Uh, share share some of what I've been doing and, and going through some of my stuff. And and uh, yeah, just wanted to touch bases with everybody. Uh, miss you guys, but I know we'll see you soon. I'll end with the 1978 Dogtown skateboard. Uh, this is one of the first skateboards that was basically came in out of California. If any of you guys have watched the movie Dogtown, um, Pal Peralta and, and all those guys were on Dogtown skateboarding team. So uh, you can see down here, there's a 1978 somewhere, but pretty cool piece too. Anyway, get better guys. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Conley. I guess I'm gonna give you a little update on what I've been doing that's a little bit different since I haven't been with you. I have been out and about trying to find different kinds of wildflowers. And I'm gonna show you, let's see, one, two, three, maybe four so far that I've identified, okay? We have to go on a little bit of a walk. So are you ready? Here we go. The first one is called a coral bell. Isn't that pretty? The first time, <laughs> the first time I saw it, I thought it was a flower that had gone extinct and I was ready to contact the Flower Society, but I made a little slight mistake in my identification of it. It's a common coral bell. It's just not very common for me. All right, our second flower. Okay, this one's called a shooting star, and I think it's just so gorgeous. Do you notice how the little part comes out here and then the petals come back? It's so fragile and yet it's just been pouring down rain and it's just hanging in there like it's so strong. Okay, let's find another one. Okay, this one isn't so pretty, but this is what poison oak is looking like about this time of year. So the leaves are really red or kind of purplish, but they will be turning green. But when you're tromping around through the woods, don't disregard it because already I've gotten poison oak because I thought I was above it all. I'm not, 
Okay, one more flower. Okay, the last flower I'm going to show you is a trillium. It's everything is three, three leaves, three petals, three more little leaves under the flower. These are really hard for me to find and normally I usually only find them if I'm up in Eugene, sort of cause it's darker up there, a little more cloudy, but I thought that was kind of an extra gift to find that one this year. Okay, well, I hope you liked our little flower hike and I just wanna encourage you to get out and try to look at small things and find the beauty in them. Take care. Hello, Grants Pass High School students. It's Mrs. Bland coming to you live from my yard, office, whatever you wanna call it for now. And I uh, just wanted to share some adventures that me and my family had over spring break. And so here you go. Um, there's a picture of us camping. That's our Jeep with our rooftop tent in the middle of nowhere, basically, Central Oregon. And um, from, from this, you can see that there were lots of trees around us, but not a lot of people, uh, except my family. Stayed warm by the fire because it was cold. It was below freezing where we were camping. And we woke up to this, two inches of snow, and it, we had four by the time that we left but that's okay we decided to pack up and go find a different spot uh it was so cold that the ice the water in the hose froze for our uh where we store all our water we drank and so we went to this spot and arrived to snow that was falling sideways it was blowing so hard that it was hitting us sideways um but we stuck with it we had perseverance and turned into a beautiful day no one else around us, and we went and found some sunstones. If you haven't been sun sunstoning, it's a fun experience uh, and found quite a few. Um, but just wanted to wish you all the best and let you know uh, one of the things that I'm working on right now is uh, bandanas. Um, that's why I'm wearing this today. Um, it's a bandana. But wait, there's more for fun for the times decided to uh, experiment with making a bandana with a face mask. Um, nursing home families or staff people, um, they need this kind of device to help them out a little bit, um, help protect them and the residents at the nursing homes because they don't get all the other masks. So anyway, a fun little experiment for me. Hope you're all well and having um, a great day. See you later.